Want to take your cycling to the next level? Welcome to an exhilarating ride as we explore 10 dynamic exercises designed to boost your pedal power and elevate your performance, whether you're on the road or blazing a trail. Over the next 10 minutes we'll guide you through a series of targeted exercises, each one honing in on key muscles used in cycling. From leg presses to lunges, we'll cover a range of moves aimed at enhancing your endurance, power, and efficiency on the bike. But that's not all folks. We've also got some challenging intervals lined up to push your cardiovascular system, improve your stamina, and leave you feeling like a true cycling champion. Whether you're just starting out or you're a seasoned cyclist, these exercises are set to propel you towards your fitness goals. So, gear up and get ready to pedal your way to peak performance. First up, leg presses, a crucial exercise for building power in your quads and glutes. Now why are leg presses so beneficial for cyclists? Well, cycling is all about lower body strength and endurance. Leg presses target those very muscles that are constantly engaged while pedaling, particularly the quadriceps and gluteal muscles. The stronger these muscles are, the more power you can generate with each pedal stroke. So, how do we perform leg presses correctly? Start by positioning yourself on the leg press machine with your back flat against the pad. Place your feet hip width apart on the platform. Then, push the platform away by extending your knees and hips. Make sure you're not locking your knees at the top. Slowly lower the weight back down, resisting the pull to maintain control. Remember, it's not about the weight you press, but the correct form and consistency. So keep pressing on, and you'll soon see your cycling gains skyrocket. Next, let's move on to lunges, an excellent way to target each leg individually. Lunges are a powerhouse move for cyclists, working on the quadriceps, hamstrings, and glutes, all key muscles for powerful pedaling. Not only do lunges help build strength, but they also improve balance and coordination, critical aspects of cycling. Now let's get into the technique. Start by standing tall. Take a big step forward with one foot, while keeping the other foot in place. Lower your body until the front knee is bent at a 90-degree angle and the back knee is hovering just above the floor. Push back up to the starting position and repeat the motion with the other leg. Remember, form is key here. Keep your body upright, engage your core and make sure your front knee doesn't go past your toes as you lunge. Keep your torso straight and avoid leaning forward to maximize the benefits. With lunges in your workout routine, you're one step closer to becoming a more proficient cyclist. Now, on to planks, a fantastic exercise for strengthening your core. Planks are often overlooked, but they are a crucial part of any cyclist's workout regimen. Why you ask? Well, a strong core is essential for cycling as it helps maintain your balance, supports your spine, and allows for efficient power transfer from your body to the pedals. Let's dive into how to perform a plank correctly. Start by getting into a push-up position. Bend your elbows and rest your weight on your forearms, not on your hands. Your body should form a straight line from your shoulders to your ankles. Engage your core by sucking your belly button into your spine. Now, hold this position. Remember, it's not about how long you can hold a plank but rather about maintaining the correct form, quality over quantity. Hold the plank position for as long as you can but make sure to keep your body straight. Don't let your hips sag or your butt rise your body should be as flat as a plank. Ready for more? Let's power through the remaining exercises. Next up is the squat. This exercise mimics the action of cycling by engaging your quadriceps, hamstrings, and glutes. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart, bend your knees and lower your body as if sitting on a chair, then push back up. Repeat this movement for a set of 10 to 15 reps. Moving on, we have the step up. This one targets your glutes and quads, which are crucial for pedaling power. Find a step or bench that's about knee height. Step up with one foot, drive through your heel to bring your other foot up, then step back down. Do 10 to 15 reps on each leg. Our sixth exercise is the Russian twist. This one is all about your core which is key for maintaining balance and control on your bike. Sit on the floor with your knees bent, lean back slightly and twist your torso from side to side. For an added challenge, hold a weight or medicine ball. Aim for 15 to 20 reps. Next is the bicycle crunch. Another great core exercise, this one also targets your obliques, helping you with those sharp turns on the trail. Lie flat on your back, hands behind your head. Bring one knee towards your chest while twisting your opposite elbow towards it, then switch sides. It's like pedaling in the air. Do 15 to 20 reps. Exercise number 8 is the deadlift. This powerful move works your hamstrings, glutes and lower back, all crucial muscles for cycling. Stand with feet hip width apart, a weight in each hand. Bend at the hips and knees, lowering the weights towards the ground then push back up. 
do 10 to 15 reps. The ninth exercise is the calf raise. Calves are often overlooked, but they're key for pushing down on those pedals. Stand with feet hip width apart, rise onto your toes, then lower back down. For added resistance, hold weights or do this on a step. Aim for 15 to 20 reps. And finally, we have the bridge. This exercise targets your glutes, hamstrings, and core, helping to improve your power and stability on the bike. Lie on your back with knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Lift your hips off the ground until your body forms a straight line from shoulders to knees, then lower back down. Do 10 to 15 reps. Great job. Remember, consistency is key when it comes to seeing improvements in your cycling performance. Well done for making it through all the exercises. We've just powered our way through 10 dynamic exercises, each one designed to boost your cycling gains and elevate your performance on the road or trail. From leg presses that strengthen your quads and glutes, to lunges that target your hamstrings and calves, we've hit all the key muscle groups used in cycling. And let's not forget those planks, an absolute game changer for your core strength, helping you maintain balance and control on your bike. But it doesn't end there. Remember we also tackled a variety of other exercises, all aimed at enhancing your endurance, power and efficiency on the bike. Whether it's the high-intensity intervals that challenge your cardiovascular system, or the strength training moves that improve your stamina, each one plays a crucial role in your cycling journey. However, the key to unlocking your full pedal power lies not just in these exercises but in consistency. Regular training is what helps you gradually build up strength and endurance. It's what transforms these exercises from mere routines into powerful muscle memory. So make these exercises a part of your regular training regimen, and you'll soon see the benefits in your cycling performance. But your journey doesn't stop here. There's always more to learn, more to explore, and more to achieve in the world of cycling. And we're here to guide you every pedal of the way. So, what's next you ask? Well we've got plenty more cycling tips, tricks, and workouts up our sleeves. From in-depth guides to quick tips, we've got content that caters to every cyclist out there. Whether you're a beginner looking to get started, or a seasoned cyclist aiming for new heights, we've got you covered. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on social media for more cycling tips and tricks. Until next time, keep pedaling.